It's Ethan or Miss back again for another video today and welcome back to the channel guys my god We have not done a hockey video in a long long time and uh, I'm pretty excited I'm not gonna lie. You know, I haven't played any franchise mode I haven't even played Xbox in literally like four months uh, but obviously pretty much the only uh, actual NHL videos I've ever made on my channel are uh, GM modes or franchise modes, whatever you want to call them. And uh, we're going to be doing that same thing here on CapFriendly.com today, which I'm very excited about. So you can actually do a Seattle expansion draft. Uh, there's actually a bunch of other things that you can do as well, which I didn't even know was a thing. Uh, you can make uh, trade proposals, which I didn't know was a thing. This is actually really cool. Uh, it's a really cool thing that Cap Friendly has added. I'm not sure how new it is or how old it is, but nonetheless, we're going to be doing the Seattle expansion draft today. And uh, I'm pretty excited about this one because, you know, we're going to step into uh, my shoes. Uh, we're going to see uh, how I would build this team, I guess. So let's draft the team. We'll start it off. Of course, we need... Uh, we're going to be drafting 30 players. We need a minimum of 14 forwards, a minimum of 9 defensemen, a minimum of 3 goalies. Uh, we need 20 contracts for this upcoming season, which of course we know that. We need a minimum cap hit of 48 million or 49 million to be safe. And the max cap hit, of course, is just over 81 million. So starting it off here with Anaheim, um, we've got a few decent picks. We've got Ryan Getzlaff, Adam Henrique. Uh, Danton Heinen is really good. I really like Danton Heinen. Sonny Milano is good, and he's extended till next year as well. Plus, he's very young. It's not a pretty cheap deal. And then you look at defensemen such as uh, Kevin Shattenkirk, Hayden Fleury, and Jacob Larson. Uh, Brennan Gooley as well, to be fair. Uh, I've actually got a decent amount of picks here, or a decent amount of players here. Stolarz is the only goalie available, but... Uh, Hmm, man, this is actually pretty tough. I don't know who I'm going to pick here. Uh, I have I mean, I was originally thinking between Henrique, uh, Milano, and Fleury, but Brennan Gooley and Jacob Larson are also options, and Adam Henrique's cap hit is pretty high, plus it's, uh, plus it's going to be there for the next three seasons. But, he, I mean, he's a pretty solid centerman. I really don't want Getzlaff's contract. I know he expires this year, but... Who knows if he would even re-sign. Um, this is actually really tough. Uh, I'm thinking a defenseman here. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking Jacob Larson. I think Jacob Larson will be the first pick from Anaheim. And we move on to the Arizona Coyotes. I uh, got a decent amount of players here. And immediately looking at this... Um, it's between Christian Fisher, Derek Broussard, and Alex Goligoski for me. But I'm absolutely taking Christian Fisher. Um, Antti Ranta is actually a really good option as well. To be fair, I'm surprised he uh, wasn't protected. But I would probably protect Kemper over Ranta as well. Ranta is actually a pretty solid goalie. But he does expire this year, which is the issue. But uh, the good thing about Christian Fisher is that he expires next year. So we have him under contract for this season, which is nice. Uh, then we've got Boston now. Uh, very, very interesting. Tuka Rask is unprotected, of course. Uh, he expires this year as well. Kevin Miller is actually retired. Um, hmm. This is, uh, this is very interesting. No one really here that's actually under contract. Um, something that would be interesting is taking someone like uh, Jacob Forsbacka Carlson or Zachary Shenishin, um, you know, maybe give them some actual ice time because they just don't or they just won't get the ice time in Boston. Um, kind of think of Andre Kasha, but I'm honestly kind of thinking more of one of the younger guys. Connor Clifton's a pretty solid defenseman. He's not bad. Uh, Jakob Zaborl as well isn't a bad option. I mean, Jeremy Lauzon really isn't a bad option either. There's not a lot of people that are actually signed here. Um, huh. It's actually pretty tough. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to be so hard. 
I mean, there, of course, you can just take Taylor Hall, uh, but it seems like Boston is going to re-sign Taylor Hall. Um, so I'm going to avoid that. And David Krejci, I don't know. I don't know. It was really tough. Uh, man, you know what? I really don't know. I think I'm just going to take Andre Kasha for now. Maybe I'll come back to Boston. That's pretty tough. Uh, then we have the Buffalo Sabres. Jeff Skinner has waived his no movement clause for that big, big, big contract. Absolutely no thank you, though. Uh, Colin Miller is a very good defenseman and a very good option. Not bad at all. I'm I'm torn between Gurgensons and Miller. But right-handed defensemen are pretty hard to come by sometimes. So I think for now we're going to go for Colin Miller. Uh, then we move to Calgary. Uh, Milan or Milan Lucic also waived his no movement clause. Now Giordano is uh, extended until next season. He would obviously be a fantastic defenseman, but I don't know if they take Giordano. I don't know what Seattle's plans are. I don't know if they plan on competing right now or if they are waiting to go. Because uh, looking at it as a franchise, I want Oliver Shillington way more than Mark Giordano. Giordano was 37, and he signed till next year, which is nice. You're going to have to pay uh, Oliver Shillington, but he is going to be a really good defenseman uh, in my eyes, and I, I think it's just much smarter to go with Shillington over Giordano. So let's move on to Carolina. Some big players here as well. You know, Niederreiter surprisingly went unprotected, but it's a pretty big cap hit, but he's also not a bad forward at all. Um, a couple other good forwards and Brock McGinn. Um, yeah, that's actually it, really. <laughs> Dougie Hamilton, Jake Gardner, and Jake Bean are all pretty solid. I mean, Jake Bean's got to be the pick here, I think. It's between Niederreiter and Bean for me, although Peter Mrazek uh, is not a bad goalie. Neither is James Reimer. Uh, unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of players we're going to have to sign. You know, it's whether we can actually entice them to sign with us is the question. Dougie Hamilton, I mean, would we be able to make, or would we be able to entice him to sign with us? Maybe. I don't know. But as a future, or as looking looking at this for our future, I'm thinking Jake Bean's the move here. So then we go to Chicago. And Chicago is quite lacking. But, I mean, it, it's got to be Zadorov, All right. Uh... Yeah, I mean, unless you take a goalie in Delia or Subban, which I don't know if I really want either of those guys, I think it's got to be Zadorov. So then we move on to Colorado, uh, which is very, very interesting. There's a couple of decent players here. Um, Devin Dubnik's available, which honestly I did not know. He does expire this year, of course. Um, JT Confer, I think, is honestly the best option here. I mean, Gabe Landeskog would be really nice, but he expires this season, and who knows how much money he wants. Same thing for Brendan Saad, really. Uh, Eric Johnson's got a pretty large contract. Don't really know if I want that on the team, but JT Confer signed till 2023, and he's only at a 3.5 million cap hit, and he can be a very good third liner. So I think that'll be the pick for Colorado. Then we move on to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, I think it's just got to be Max Domi, man. You have him signed until next season, and uh, I think that's a really good deal. Plus, depending on how you guys do as a team, Max Domi can 100% be trade fodder for uh, the upcoming uh, free agency, I guess, uh, in the next season. Then we move on to Dallas. Uh, very interesting players here. Of course, uh, Ben Bishop waived his no-movement clause, but Ben Bishop hasn't played a game of hockey in almost two years, I believe which is insane. I think Blake Como is probably the pick here for me. I'm thinking Blake Como. I mean, there isn't really anything too good. Nicholas Camado is actually kind of interesting. Uh, Julius Honka as well. Uh, you know, I would like to try to find some younger players, but... I think Blake Como's the move. He could play in our bottom six. Wouldn't be that bad of a player. Uh, then we move on to the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, and I th it's got to be Dennis Chalowski. Uh, I think Dennis Chalowski is by far the best pick here. 
although Danny DeKaiser is a pretty solid defenseman. He's just making a lot of money, which is something I do not want to take on. Uh, Vlad Nemestikov isn't a bad option. Yeah, I mean, Taro Hirose is pretty good, obviously, as well, Evgeny Sveshnikov. But I'm thinking Dennis Shalowski, maybe if he can get the minutes in Detroit, or not in Detroit, sorry, in Seattle, you know, maybe he can actually find his way in the lineup. He's been struggling up and down the lineup between the NHL and the AHL, so maybe we can actually get him uh, some good time here in Seattle. Then we move on to Edmonton. So uh, it's sounding like Oscar Clefbaum won't even play this season. Adam Larson is going to be re-signing with Edmonton as far as I know. Uh, I mean, they've got both their, all three of their goalies there are available. Koskinen's got a pretty pretty big cap hit, but he wouldn't be a bad backup goalie, I don't think. But I think we've got better goalies coming up. It's just, who do we take here? Uh, Jujar Kara and Tyler Benson, I think, are pretty viable options. Yeah, I'm really thinking it's, well, Dominic Cahoon, too, even, honestly. They, you know what, Edmonton's got some decently young forwards. Kyle Turris wouldn't be bad either. I mean, he's not making a lot of money, plus he's signed. But, uh, you know, I'm thinking for the future of this team, Tyler Benson's probably the move. Uh, then we move on to Florida, and it sounds like absolutely Seattle will be taking uh, Chris Dreiger, uh, or Drager. So we're going to be taking him. Uh, if if it were me, I'd probably go with Drager as well, uh, or maybe Nudivara. Uh, it's probably just between those two. Maybe Wenberg. Maybe Wenberg could find his way in the lineup uh, in Seattle. But we move on to the Los Angeles Kings. Uh, interesting here. Uh, I'm thinking Oli Mata is a decent pick here. You know, he's kind of slow. But I don't know. I feel like we need some help on the left side. But uh, a forward like Brennan Lemieux or Andreas Athanasiu is not bad. Uh, Carl Grundstrom would be pretty, you know what, Carl Grundstrom, actually. That's very interesting. You know what, yeah, I'm going to go for Carl Grundstrom. Why not? Uh, then we move on to the Minnesota Wild. Um, geez, I don't know who to, oh, oh sorry, yeah, absolutely, Capo Kakinen. Um, yeah, because <laughs> I really don't want any of those forwards. Uh, maybe Nick Bukestad. Uh, I mean, Nick Benino was fantastic, um, to be fair. But, yeah, I don't know how much money he'll be wanting. Either way, Capocacco, 100%. I uh, cannot believe Carey Price waived his no-movement clause. So we're on to the Montreal Canadiens. Now, this is incredibly, incredibly interesting. Montreal has a lot of good players up here. They have, of course, Carey Price, which I do not think, or who I do not think will be taken. By the sounds of it, Shea Weber may have played his final games uh, in the NHL. Uh, Kale Fleury is a very good defenseman, uh, or he could be a very, very good defenseman at least. Jonathan Drouin, I, you know, I don't know what's going on with Jonathan Drouin. It doesn't seem like a lot of people know what's going on with Drouin. Thomas Tatar, I mean... He was in and out of the lineup uh, this year. I think Drew Ann was on waivers at one point. Paul Byron is really enticing to me. He's not making that much money, and he's so, so fast. He brings so much speed to your team. Uh, Philip Deneau is going to want a big extension. Maybe Montreal, or maybe, sorry, maybe Seattle can give him that big extension. But whether they want to pay him that, I don't know. You know, maybe they look at Philip Deneau as like a William Carlson uh, from Vegas back in the day. Like he was a He's a very good two-way forward that just wasn't getting um, enough time, I guess. But Deneau gets a lot of ice time. He just doesn't put up points. He's just so fantastic defensively. You have a lot of really solid options here. I mean, I feel like most people are taking Kale Fleury. Um, and I, I really think it's between Kale Fleury and Paul Byron. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go with Kale Fleury. I mean, again, I'm kind of looking more towards the future of this team. So it's just, I'm a little worried because it's a lot of right-handed defensemen now. So I gotta, I gotta keep an eye out for that. You know, I've taken seven defensemen and I've taken seven forwards. So then we move on to Nashville, which is very, very interesting as well. They have a lot of decent players uh, and I think it's got to be a forward here for sure. Cause of course, Pecorine is retired. 
I wouldn't really want any of these defensemen. And then you have a decent amount of forwards here. Matt Duchesne, Ryan Johansson, Mikhail Granlund, uh, Colton Sissons, Callie Yarncroft, Eric Halla, um, Yakov Trenin even could be very good. Uh, honestly, I really do think I could see Seattle taking Ryan Johansson. I mean, he's it's a big cap hit, of course, but you know what? It's till 2025, and really he could be your number one center for the next couple of years. I don't know. I, I think Ryan Johansson is the pick here. I don't know. I think Ryan Johansson. Then we move on to the New Jersey Devils. And again, you've got some decent players here. We've got Andreas Janssen, Nick Merkley. Uh, we've got P.K. Subban, Ryan Murray, Will Butcher. I would imagine Will Butcher is the defenseman that's taken. Uh, Aaron Dell's a decent goalie that could be on uh, out of here. I mean, Scott Wedgwood, surprisingly. Uh, honestly, I mean, no, Mackenzie Blackwood's definitely the player that you're protecting if you're in New Jersey. It's really tempting to take Subban. He, he'd be on the last year of his deal uh, when the season comes around, and he's obviously a very proven defenseman. He's very solid, plus it brings in a lot of money and marketing to your team. But again, I'm kind of looking more towards the future, and I think Will Butcher's a better move. Plus, Will Butcher is signed until 2022, just like Subban, but Will Butcher is younger and probably better so now we move on to the islanders and man it's really really surprising how many forwards snuck through here we've got uh jordan everly josh bailey travis sajak kyle palmieri richard ponick who they just uh they just took uh from was it detroit i believe uh michael dal cole is interesting dimitri timashov joshua hosang i mean if you're looking for the future which is what the theme of this draft has been so far. It's Dal Cole, Timishov, or uh, Hosang. But I think Jordan Everly is such a good player. It's it's crazy that he's unprotected here. I mean, it's between Everly and Bailey for me. Uh, pa- Palmieri is not a bad player at all. He just came off a very good season. But uh, it's just he's not, he's not signed, you know, where you've got uh, Bailey or Everly until... 2024 they're basically the exact same player uh except one can score more one can put up more assists so i think everly though everly with johansson sounds like it could work uh then we move on to the rangers we've got barclay goodrow who they just uh uh traded for and i heard yesterday that he might be getting a six-year extension so we're gonna avoid him uh julian gautier is very interesting who's resigned until next year Ty Ronning, Phil DiGiuseppe, um, defenseman Darren Radish, Jack Johnson, I'm not taking. Wow, there is, I mean, Anthony D'Angelo isn't a bad option. Keith Kincaid, honestly, isn't a bad option either. For me, it's between Gautier and Keith Kincaid. I think I'm going to go with Gautier, though. Again, kind of looking more towards the future. Um... Yeah, so let's see. Now for Ottawa, it's Gendy Dadanov or Chris Tierney for me. Uh, I don't want Matt Murray's contract. I think I'm going to go Chris Tierney. He is, uh, you know, that's a lot of people that's going to expire next year, but Chris Tierney is a very, very solid player. Uh, then we move on to Philadelphia, and I think it's going to be JVR. Uh, I don't think it'll be Voracek, but they are basically the same age. I think Voracek turns 32 like next month or something um, before the season starts for sure. I know that. Uh, Ghost is an interesting option, but I believe Ghost was on waivers at one point last season. I'm not taking Brian Elliott. Alex Lyon isn't a bad option. Neither is Felix Sandstrom, to be fair, but I'm thinking JVR is the move. Really help out the forward core as well. Then we move on to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, Jason Zucker is very interesting. Uh, Marcus Peterson is very interesting. He's a very solid defenseman. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, I think it... I mean, Casey DeSmith is a very solid goalie as well. It's between DeSmith, Pedersen, and Zucker. I mean, really, it's between Pedersen and DeSmith for me. Hmm. I think for now... Uh, man, this is actually really tough. I think I might go for Patterson. 
I know a lot of people are thinking to Smith, but I think I'm going to go Pedersen. We'll come back to that, though, if we need to. Then we move on to the San Jose Sharks. Um, hmm. This is tough. I mean, Ryan Donato is probably the best option here. So we'll take Ryan Donato. I don't really think there's much debate on that. Absolutely. Uh, Vladimir Tarasenko will be taken by me. Thank you very much. And now we only have $10 million in cap space and we still have five teams left. So this is where it starts to get tough. We still need a goalie as well. So we, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Who do we take from Tampa is the question. Uh, I mean, I'm really thinking it's Yanni Gord, Andre Platt, or Tyler Johnson. Which one would it be, though? I don't know. Uh, I mean, Andre Palat just came off a fantastic season, so I'm going to go with Palat. He is the more expensive of the, of the three that I mentioned, which really doesn't help us out. But, yeah, then we move on to Toronto, which is very interesting. And I do think it's going to be between McCann and Kerfoot. It seems to be that it's only going to be one of those two. Uh, apparently, Jared McCann was very, uh, or Seattle was very interested in Jared McCann. And of course, it was going to be between Kerfoot and Dermott. But now it's between Kerfoot and McCann, I think. But they seemed very interested in McCann, so maybe they still take McCann. Um, that's what I'm thinking. And we move on to Vancouver. You know what? I think this is where we get a goalie. We get Braden Holtby. We are over contract now, or over the cap hit now, though, which is not good. Because uh, looking at this, I don't even know if I really want anyone else, to be honest. And we've got, we still got two teams left. Uh, the Washington Capitals. Um, Justin Schultz is interesting. Maybe take another goalie in Zachary Fucale. Have an, a have an AHL goalie. Then on to the Winnipeg Jets. Um, Dylan DeMello is a pretty solid defenseman. Mason Appleton's a pretty solid forward. I think I'm going to go Mason Appleton, though. So, uh, <laughs> we are a bit over the cap. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what I could do here to change this but nonetheless let's go and take a look at what the team will look like so we've got ryan johansson vladimir tarasenko J james van reemsdyke jordan eberle max domi andre palat chris tierney jt comfort jared mccann christian fisher blake homo mason appleton julian gautier carl grunstrom andre kasha tyler benson and ryan donato on the forward core Defensively, we have Marcus Peterson, uh, Colin Miller, Will Butcher, Jacob Larson, Kale Flurry, Jake Bean, Dennis Chalowski, Oliver Shillington, Nikita Zadorov, and goaltenders. We have Braden Holtby, Zachary Fukale, Capo Kakinen, and Chris Drieger. So, you know, I'm not, I don't know. This team's kind of all over the place, I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be tough if you're Seattle. Because, yeah, you've got about 9 million cap space, or about 10 million cap space to re-sign Kasha, Benson, Donato, uh, Flurry, Bean, Chalowski, Shillington, Zodorov, and Drager. And I think Drager, or Drager might be their number one, and Holtby or Kakinen either backing them up, which means if I... I mean, I took Holtby. That's a lot of money for a backup, but it is only the one season. Maybe they just trade Holtby, to be fair, and they still have Kakinen and Drager as their uh, tandem in the NHL, which seems to be the major consensus. I don't know. I You know, I do like this team. I'm not going to lie. I do think it is a good team. I'm a little worried about the cap space and... Uh, how many players are expiring but nonetheless guys that will be the end of this video let me know how or what you guys thought of this video i'm very intrigued to know uh what your guys's teams would look like so please let me know so thank you guys all so much for watching hope you all did enjoy and i will see you guys in the next one
Bye-bye.